The best part about Camp Booyah is the community. I enjoyed meeting a lot, lots of new people. I got to play soccer, you know. The community. I learned a Bible verse under 30 minutes. Creating new relationships. The people, the friendships, and the relationships I get to make each year. And I, you know, I met some new people. I met some new people. When Camp Booyah was first established back in 2015 with our founder, Drew Hill, we wanted to have a camp that was an Anglican camp that incorporated worship and teaching of scripture along with lots of fun and also having a service component to it. Over the years, we have seen a tremendous amount of growth going from just a handful of churches and youth groups that participated to now having over 25 different churches and four, including four dioceses in the Anglican Church of North America. And we are growing every year. And so it's very exciting to even be at the point where next year we will offer two weeks of Camp Booyah in the summer, as well as our winter retreat, Booyah Burr, in January. This year from Church of the Redeemer, we took over 70 people. We took about 60 kids and 10 leaders, and we joined with other 25 churches a total of 365 people combined. And it's so exciting to be able to have these relationships growing over the years. So the same churches come back every year. And so the youth that are able to get together at camp or at the winter retreat are able to continue to build on these relationships year after year. So it allows for our youth to be a part of the bigger church worldwide. Even though you're in a place filled with strangers, you're, you know that you're all united in Christ, and I think that's what makes us so special. We know as a church, you all hear a lot about Camp Booyah, or you might hear from our youth whoops and hollers when we mention it in church, but you don't get to see very much of what happens there. So we wanted to be able to have a snippet of camp brought to you so that you can see what your partnership and help and sponsorships actually provide for our youth and campers. Spending time with Jesus at Camp Booyah was refreshing. It showed me that spending time with him wasn't just a box you check off, but it's incorporated in every part of our life. It felt like when you're at camp at worship center, it feels like he's really there watching you. It feels like you're with him all, at all times. Take me. I really loved doing the cabin time. It was so much fun. It's like after Mr. Claude's talks in the service, and you go out there and you talk about, with your ca cabin leaders, about what you learned. I love the communication that we have at camp. You're very free to talk to anybody about anything, especially the leaders. And I feel like it's very open. You can share in your little small groups of how you feel, because other people also might agree and also might relate. I really enjoyed about he talked about like the the lost the two lost sons when the father saw him he ran into him and hugged him kissed him and and said rejoice with me if if my son who who was lost has now been found and i thought that was really inspiring basically because that means he'll accept you and he still loves you even if you do wrong. Favorite things, all the, the stuff I learned was the, the, um, the parables. Um, I like the one, my favorite one was the uh, 100 sheep. Like if you lose one, you leave all of them in the country where I can go to the other. Which is like how God would do the same thing for us. And like stuff like that, just so amazing. It was really helpful and good to be able to have time with friends and then also be able to have time with alone with God especially during like solo time which was like just time by yourself that you could spend with God. There are many things that I've learned at camp but the one that is most important to me is that having dry seasons and times when you don't feel the Lord is okay and you just have to have faith that He is always with you. There have been so many times in camp and in life when I went into a situation expecting to hear from the Lord, and when I didn't, I would get really disappointed and discouraged, but 
over time, I've learned to find peace in the fact that God's presence is not a feeling. And although it doesn't always feel like it, He is always with you and He's always there for you and you cannot escape Him. We're so grateful for all of your support and we love being able to share with you how the Lord is working and moving in our midst here at Church of the Redeemer.